Howdy guys, I'm back with more Fallout New Vegas. Last time I made it to Prim for the They Went That Away quest. I need to get into this building, but I've made everyone aggressive with my indiscriminate use of dynamite, so it's gonna be a bit of a mess right here off the bat. I had to step outside to heal up. Okay. Um, uh, everyone is no longer aggressive with me. Howdy. Um, howdy. They still have their weapons drawn, though. <laughs> Rather be left alone to my misery, if you don't mind. Alright, um, I took off the Power Ranger armor, so that might have something to do with it. Ooh. Hello there. <laughs> what brings you to Prim? Oh my goodness, Granny with a gun. I like her. Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. <laughs> you seem like you know your way around a revolver, too. Tell me about prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about prim, <laughs> for the time being, I like her. <laughs> it's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Oh my goodness, I like her. Alright, I need to go speak with Mr. Nash. Um, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. Uh huh. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Oh boy, it's like, um, like, uh, like eating a puffer fish or something like that. It's good unless it, it kills you. <laughs> I'd like some of that red scorpion venom casserole. Well, I'm not a smart woman. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? I think I ate them. I don't know. I don't have any. Aww. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. I might actually have to do that. All right. Bye. All right. Let's find Mr. Nash. Howdy. Oh, you must be him. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, that's probably my fault. Um... Um, well, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Hmm, he kind of reminds me of uh, one of the fellas from Fallout 3. So, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. You are just who I need to talk to, I think. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'm not looking for work, exactly. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'm kind of disappointed I haven't gotten any, like, low-intelligence dialogue choices. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? I uh, guess I do, yeah. What can you tell me about this job, show delivery order? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Well, it ended with my face getting blown off, so definitely strange. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Cowboy. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Wait, 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 so the cowboy robot? Yeah, um, and, um, I thought that I saw a courier for the fuzzy dice outside, um, he canceled, okay, yeah, that's weird, but some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit and some thugs, okay, well, let's stick with the matter at hand, I think I can come back to that one, 
So he canceled. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. What? I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. What? Courier 6 sounds like a Western. <laughs> okay, so do you know who he was then? Where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not enough for me to say. Huh. This all sounds really strange. I can't even begin to piece this together. It seems like, are they all like symbols of something that everyone had to deliver? I don't know. This is bizarre. Alright, so yeah, the cowboy robot. What? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. Oh, so he doesn't mean the cowboy robot from Good Springs that, uh, that was supposed to have helped me. Oh gosh, what does this all mean? Alright, so some men stole the package. A man in a checkered suit and thugs. Did they pass by? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Oh, a chip. Okay, so one of those men shot me right in the face, and that's why I've got two IQ. So I need to know the best way to get them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Ooh. All right. Deputy Beagle, Bison Steve. Okay. <laughs> All right. So can, what else can, can you talk about? I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Suppose you don't. All right. So where can I get some info on the man that shot me? Um, ooh, he has a lot to talk about. All right. Yeah. Where can I get some info? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay, okay, so that sounds like the next person I need to talk to. All right, I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. All right, uh, oh, really? I thought maybe I could talk about the fella I saw outside. Don't go getting yourself shot. Eh, I'm not a bright person, am I? Hey, I wasn't done talking to you. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so... I have some questions about your robot. I need to go see his robot. Um, yeah, why do you keep calling them the gangsters? I thought they were the ganger. I keep calling them the Power Rangers. <laughs> They've got like three names right now. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm, I'm secretly like an 83-year-old man. I just don't even care. They're all the same to me. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what can I do to help Prim if I am ever so inclined? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. <laughs> get it out of there, all right. And uh, questions about Prim, Well, maybe? I'll answer what I can. Um, let's see, do you know where I can find the courier office? What happened to Prim? What's at Vicky and Vance? Okay, yeah, what happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something, <laughs> and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. Sounds like me. A <laughs> little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Oh, okay, okay. So 
I need to go hit him with baseball bats, is what you're saying. All right, more questions Ask about away. Prim. Um, what's the Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here oh. in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. I Across see. the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. I thought, aren't we in? Are we not in the Vicky and Vance? I thought we were, like, inside of it right now. Ask away. I don't know. What's it, Vicky and Vance? That's where we are. Oh, we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now, they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. Mm. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Hmm, for now. So they probably need to be dealt with. Don't go getting yourself shot. Don't tell me how to live my life. All right, he keeps talking about Howdy. a robot. I don't know if these residents Before have... the powder gangers came to town, Johnson Nash ran the local store and the Mojave Express uh, station. Okay. So, think, don't think anyone really has too Move much along, to say. Please. Oh, oh, this robot. Oh, this one right here. Oh, hey, he's just uh, like a protectron with a cowboy hat. And, oh my hey gosh, there. he even, even has uh, boots on. Oh, those are some nice boots. Those are like some $800 boots or something there. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Howdy. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. All right, and who are you? Oh, can I? All right, yeah. Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official <laughs> spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Prim Slim, I like you. All right, uh, who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Yes. Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. <laughs> That's who they was. Oh. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Sure, alright, so I'm guessing this is going to be a fallout like Bonnie and Clyde. Tell me the whole story of Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! <laughs> I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first. Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first oh. bank. So who was copying who? Really? Now, true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But <laughs> crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. <laughs> Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Uh, Plano. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. <laughs> we'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. <laughs> you can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <laughs> that sounds an awful lot like the Bonnie and Clyde tale, doesn't it? Um, all right, hold on, let me... So let me... Happy trails, partner. So I can check Howdy. out the... Oh, so this is the... Oh, oh my gosh. Howdy. Activate Vance's Howdy. personal machine Howdy. gun. I don't think I should do... Oh, Vance's gun. The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper-wrapped box during some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his, his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. So long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. Or even, he would have even had even more if, like, everyone stood in a perfectly straight line. So, okay, okay. So, it looks like maybe firing the machine gun 
Howdy. Might open up the bank over there. Maybe I can climb through. Is that how that works? I don't know. I don't think it would work like that. I'd like to see. Oh, activate Vance's outfits. The, uh, these mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress, which appears Howdy. to be stark naked. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing someone stripped these. And these are Vicky's. These replica outfits show just how conscious Vicky was of the styles of the period. Vicky was well known for her sense of fashion, and her fixation on expensive clothing was thought to be one of the reasons the pair chose a life of crime. Move along, please. Crime doesn't pay. Alright, so I guess I can't actually activate, activate the machine gun. It's not like an activation, but it's like, it seems like I could like maybe activate this and just drive it through there or something. Nah, there's probably like a door or something. Re oh yeah, there is. <laughs> How about that? In fact, the door is very easy. No one can see me over here, but I don't know. I'm kind of a moron. Can I? Oh, okay. So this probably, I'm guessing this works. Yeah, this looks like it works the same way as Fallout 3. Ooh, don't mind me, guys. Well, so much for being a big oaf. <laughs> oh, can I actually... Oh, I thought it's the locker. I thought I could op open that alarm or something. Yeah, I'm not going to be the nicest person. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm just simple. I see something. I like it. I want it. <laughs> can anyone see me in here? Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that all of these would have like tons of treasure in here. Oh, I'm actually really disappointed. I thought that this was going to be just treasure galore. Ooh, I'll just go ahead and help my- Ooh, spiked knuckles. I don't even care. Give me. I want it. Where are they? Yes. I want to use those. Oh, that's a hard one. All right. I, hmm, I guess let me go ahead and try the- Oh, my lockpick skill is too low. All right, so I guess I'm sticking with like the very, very easy locks. Ooh, cash register. Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. I figure I will probably end up balancing out my karma. I wonder if there's any bobble head things in this game to collect. There probably are. I've probably already missed some. Oh! That doesn't belong to you. Oh. What? She. She, she took. She took all the stuff I stole. Where, really? People just... She took, like, way more stuff. Wow! She took way more stuff than I actually took the... Wow! She took... What the heck? She took everything from me. Do I have anything left? What the heck? She just... Stop! What the heck? Why was so much stuff removed? And... And, and a lot of that stuff I didn't even get from here. What the heck? Really? Did, did she take it? Can I get it back from her? Wow, okay, so people can just walk up and take your stuff. Okay, well, I'm ornery about that. <laughs> Alright, um... Guess I won't be... Ste stealing too much or something. I guess, did I get... Caught? I don't know. All right. Well, that that sucked. <laughs> I don't even think that was all stuff I took. Oh, there's another more stuff over here. Oh well, hard lesson to learn. All right. So I guess everything's considered stealing in here. No point in me sticking around. I might as well get back onto the Howdy. the quest. So. Looks like I need to, this poor guy here, <laughs> looks like I need to go outside. Let me, yeah, it, okay, autosave. I always want a quick save after it autosaves. All right, Bison Steve is where I need to go. Yeah, see, wasn't, uh, I, I thought it was like one of these guys had like the, like wasn't this guy one of the, yeah, this guy was one of the couriers or something, wasn't he? I don't know. 
All right, so let's go on to the Bison Steve. I like that name. It's funny. <laughs> All right. So, whoa. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're. S oh, I still have my spiked knuckles on. Okay. So. Oh. What the heck? What the heck was? What's going on? Oh, my, is it because your armor? Okay. It, like I'm trying to. I, I. I don't know why my character was just standing there goofily. Um. All right, hold on. Um, um, um. All right, I need to fix. Oh, I think it's because I broke my head. There we go. <laughs> Yikes! I need to maybe rest a little bit or something. I am not in good shape. All right, here, let's convict and what the heck? Was <laughs> oh my gosh, I broke its head. <laughs> wow. My gosh, this thing just keeps firing and doesn't stop. Ooh. All right, I think I'll go ahead and just take all that. And a cleaver. Ooh, that sounds like something I might be interested in using. I think I'd like to walk around with a cleaver. Let's see, I need to sort out my inventory pretty soon. Hmm. Let's see, I guess it doesn't really matter too much what armor I'm using right now. Uh, they're all in kind of meh condition. They're all pretty meh. There we go. Oh yeah, I look good with the cleaver. Alright, I'm gonna go meet cleaver and everybody. Anyone want to get meat cleavered? No? Alright, it's pretty peaceful in here. Hmm, I feel like I've been picking up quite a few um, bobby pins. Maybe they're gonna be a bit more generous with the bobby pins in this game. Oh, a little teddy bear. Empty so lots of teddy bears, toy cars. Yeah, seeing a lot of the same stuff from Fallout 3, it's cool. Ooh, oh hello. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. I feel like that was a similar book in uh, Fallout 3. Uh that I wonder if there's a different way to open this floor safe. There's like a release or something somewhere, maybe. Hmm, probably not. And it's too hard to- oh, ooh, skill 75. Yeah, for this point in the game, there's probably another way to open it somewhere? Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. Alright, onward. Ooh, oh, all of them are empty. I, I sure do miss Nuka-Cola. This sarsaparilla stuff's not doing it for me. A maintenance door. I'm not going to be able to open that. It's only easy. Hmm, I don't, it's a little... Oh, oh, there's someone right here. I was about to say it's a little too yeah, eerily no. peaceful here. Oh, you're getting meat cleavered. <laughs> Effective. I like it. Oh, he's yeah, got... No. A, oh, shoot. Someone's got like a... That guy's on fire. Why is he on fire? What's going on? <laughs> I thought I heard a flamethrower, like but it's just it's just a regular run-of-the-mill dude on fire. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? I want that. Oh my gosh. How do I deal with this? Oh my gosh. What is this nonsense? I want that weapon. All right, okay, I think I got some time now that I think he might- Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm on fire! Okay, I gotta- Oh, escaped convict leader! Oh, he's got like a shield- He's like super Adam special. Up. I think I gotta do something here. Hold on, I gotta- Ooh, okay, I've gotta maybe drink this. Um, um I, I don't know. Um, I, I'm trying to take it easy. Oh, I guess I still got quite a few of these- Sarsaparillas. Let me drink a couple of those. Um, does... Can I vats with a meat cleaver? Does that really... Oh, yeah, that's... I guess I guess it's pretty... I guess it's pretty handy. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. Oh, man, I want to... Yeah, let's see. Do I have a more effective weapon? Let's see. One that does a bit more damage. The cleaver does 12. The baseball bat does 18. Knife does 18, a laser pistol, tire iron, hmm, wish I could have kept those spiked knuckles, those would have been really swell to keep. Alright, baseball bat time, alright, here, I got, it's got, but oh, yeah, <laughs> that definitely worked, nice. Alright, aw, drained flamer fuel tank, oh, here we go, incinerator, sweet, gimme that. 
I will definitely be using that. Gosh, I wish I could find a bed to rest in. It's a hotel. You would think there was somewhere to do that at. Gosh, I'm going to have to go see a vendor soon. Yikes. Poor. Aw, poor little Brahmin. Poor little dude. That sucks. Ah, here we go. I was just complaining about a bed. All right, let's, uh, I guess let's just sleep for a couple hours. It's already morning. We want to make the most of our day here. <laughs> it's probably the cleanest place I think I've ever slept in a Fallout game. <laughs> a vending machine sweet, more soda. And, oh, here's my, here's my guy, I take it. He's not uh, trying to fight me anyway. Hmm, anything good in here? Purified waters. Ooh, yeah, purified water's really nice. All right, my fella. Let me go ahead and put this up so I don't accidentally bonk here with it. Oh, there we go. There's my beloved Nuka-Cola. So much better than this sarsaparilla knockoff stuff. There we go. Much better. All right, Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. <laughs> I like how this guy was just in the next room. I'm going to take a quick nap while you hang out there and think about your life choices. All right, you must be a Deputy Beagle. Woof. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. You don't say. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. <laughs> I hear you may have info on the cons that came through through here? How'd you end up being a hostage? How'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. Oh. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Oh, uh, huh, that seems to have... Why would they... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I trust this guy. Is it really that simple? I don't know. Let's hear, let's hear what he has to say. I hear you may have info on some cons. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Oh, oh, let's see, my speech is too low, it seems. I'll set you free. It's fun to do it, even if it fails. I'll free you right after you tell me. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. <laughs> oh, gosh. He, he reminds me of a certain character on the Walking Dead TV series. <laughs> okay, so can you tell me about the people who pass through town now? I guess not. I, can't, I haven't let him. I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds... I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. Okay, I guess let me do that. I don't know if I trust you. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Uh, didn't you say you were going to tell me something? Okay, um, speech, if you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me, sure, run away. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this because he told me he was gonna tell me. Um, if you, yeah, that's actually gonna happen. I've got a Tyrone. I will club you on the back of the head with it. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Yeah, see, I, I knew I couldn't trust this guy. He, this story's like not quite adding up here. It's like, why would they? Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna reserve judgment till we see this through. Well, I wish I could. What kind of? What, I don't plan hmm. to come back to the Bison, Steve, much in the years to come, if I ever get out of it. Well, is there a wet here? Let's see. Let's get going. Take a weapon. No, I was going to make sure he doesn't have a weapon because I feel like he's going to stab me in the back. Let me see. Can I get I him? just hope I won't have to use it. Okay, let's give him something that he's not going to hurt anyone too much with. Here, you can have... No, he can't have my boxing gloves. Here, you can have a cleaver. You can have this cleaver. Oh, Deputy Beagle's journal. Oh, that's how that's gonna work, alright? Really? That's... 
And depart we will. <laughs> really? It, that feels like a bug. I can just take that off of his... Uh, off of him that, uh, oh gosh, what would it be under, um, let's see, Deputy Beagle's journal, all right, let's, I, I feel kind of, I don't know if I should listen to this, because I feel like that was unintentional, like, maybe that was a bug, but, I don't know, he, maybe he's just as stupid as I am, just willingly e exchanged hands while I was handing him the cleaver, let's see. This is most unusual, the powder gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough-looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. <laughs> They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. <laughs> oh my, I think I've been spotted. I like this guy. He's he's a character. Okay, so it sounds like I need to go south and west, according to this journal. Oh, I didn't grab this. Vance Gun Brochure. One of the highlights of the museum at the Vicky and Vance Casino is the authentic gun that Vance used in their cross-country crime spree. This gun is proudly on display at the center of the casino near the car they died in. This is most oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, um, well, oh yeah, I forgot that I don't have to sit there and listen to it. Alright, well, whatever. It means I pay attention better. Alright, so, we've already been through here. I guess we need to go this way. A lead pot. Pipe. Yes! Oh my, my weight's starting to become a bit of an issue. I'm definitely going to have to get rid of some of this junk. Where's that lead pipe? Give me that. Yes. This is the... Oh, it's kind of small though. Short range, but... Oh, is that... Is that blood? What is that? Oh, okay. That's like dog meat. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got a kind of watch my weight here. I'm just going to grab everything. Oh, huh. Dead end over here. Alright. Um, garbage cans, some caps. Um, let me save. I don't think I can open this. No, I can't. No going that way. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're just... Oh! I almost missed that. I always do. Rebound, regenerate AP, steady, weapon spread reduced. Huh. Not stim packs, but interesting. Alright, let's see. So, I guess I just need to head... Uh... Oh, did I break the... Okay, what? <laughs> Oh, head to Novak through Nipta. Oh, okay, so. Alright. Um, Be Beagle has been rescued. Talk to him about protecting the town. Okay, so. Do we need to talk or do I need to get him out of here? I if we were to miss a convict or two in here, who'd know the difference? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I need to get him out of here. I, I guess maybe listening to my journal, I don't really need to help him get out of here. It seems like I know where I need to go now. This guy's still just r over here on fire. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to be a bit more picky about what I take, but I do want those tire irons. I might, might need to go through these quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's not a door. <laughs> not a door at all. Whoops. All right, here we go. Here's the exit. All right, we're outside. Ah, and it's day. This place looks way different. All right, so... Hey there. Do you want to talk? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. <laughs> Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Um, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. What are your qualifications for a sheriff? Yeah, yeah what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. 
Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. <laughs> okay. Um, what are the qualifications for being a sheriff, then? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. So... I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Oh. Okay, so... It sounds like he's suggesting... Oh, either... I, either the NCR or this ex chef, but I don't know. I I don't know about much about either of these people, and you're 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 goofy, but I think you're well meaning. Um, I guess I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. I would rather. I don't know. I I don't feel like I have a horse in this race, though. I'd feel better off. Like I don't want to say I don't have time to help Prim because I mean I have all the time in the world, but. I don't feel like I'm the best choice to be deciding these things. I guess I'll help. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. Hmm. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hmm. I'm kind of more inclined to go with the NCR because they're going to have, um, you know, weapons and a way to, to actually protect these people, whereas this other guy he's suggesting is, um, well, I mean, uh-oh, someone's running right up toward me. Look at him. He's got something to say. Look at this guy. He wants to talk to me. Look, he wants to talk to me so bad. Oh, I know he's coming for me. Nope. You can't do it. Don't. No. No. Quit chasing me! Stop! Stop! This is my worst fear in a video game, by the way. I hate being chased. Look at him! Look at him! He's unrelenting! Stop! No! 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 He's gonna get me! Oh, Hello got there! Me. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. Don't follow me. You'll live longer. Why? Uh, go on. Okay, so yeah. Why are you following? Go on. <laughs> it started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. I did? You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. I honestly didn't even know I'd picked one up, really. Uh, what's so special about these caps? Why didn't you say anything then and there? And this is getting creepy. Yeah, why didn't you say anything then and there? I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. <sighs> now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Oh, I honestly don't even know where I grabbed that at. Um, so what kind of treasure is it? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Okay. Alright, so where can I find more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Oh. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some <laughs> say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Festus. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. So I must have gotten one of these while I was spam drinking the sarsaparilla trying to stay alive. Um, so yeah, you mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the lying type, either. Hmm. 
So that means that he would probably have to be over like 200 years old then at least, right? So if he is real, he's most likely a a ghoul. I'm assuming ghouls are going to be a thing. I don't know. I I shouldn't make any assumptions. I don't know what all this game's going to offer yet. All right, so do you collect the caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. Hmm. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Oh, so that's something to be aware of. All right, thank you for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. That's... Oh man, this sounds like it's going to be like Resident Evil 3 with like a nemesis chasing after me going stars because he wants my stars. <laughs> Alright, so I actually don't even know where that would be. I, I don't know if I can even see that. Um, oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Okay, so I've gotten... Gosh, I guess I've gotten two, <laughs> and that's just from, like, drinking tons of the... I was just drinking tons of them to get my health back. All right, well, I guess I... Oh, hello. Nice. Awesome. I'll go ahead and just take all of that. I didn't even mean to find that. All right, so let me get my bearings straight here as far as how to deal with this My Kind of Town quest. So, um... Alright, so, oh, NCR Correctional Facility shunned, alright, so, I, like I said, I'm a bit more inclined to go with the NCR guy, if I can get over to him, but I'm not really sure how good of guys these NCR folk are, but, um, like I said, the fact that they have, like, you know, weapons and manpower, and I think, are those mines right there? Those look like mine. I know. <laughs> I guess I'm not clever enough to be able to grab them quickly. I just got my face blown up. All right, proceed with caution then. All right. Oh, that's empty. All right. Are you the? You're a trooper. I can't have any of that, can I? You lost. I yes. I'm trying to find this. Is this where I need to go inside of here? Maybe. Oh gosh, when quests have two objectives. Ooh, there's an upstairs here. Ooh, and there's an over here. Ah, they're all empty. So is this, oh, this, this is considered stealing. All right, so none of this is up for grabs, basically. All right, let's see, local map. Looks like my man is a bit more over yonder. All right, gosh. Everything. I wonder how these tiny few little bricks still manage to stand. It's amazing. It all hasn't crumbled already. Oh, they got a flag hanging here. All right. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. <laughs> all right. His name is actually Sergeant McGee. I like that. Sergeant McGee doesn't have anything exciting over here. All right, Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Ooh, uh, where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Hmm, I'm guessing Hub is going to be like a, a major city? Because Hub sounds like the name of, like, a major city to me. Oh, metal door to NCR tent? I can just... Oh my gosh, I can just go inside their tent if if I want. Oh, yeah, I don't think I want to do any more stealing because it seems like people just walk up and take all the stuff that I steal. All right, this is the guy I need to talk to. Lieutenant Hayes. Hey! I'm Lieutenant <laughs> Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? All right. Uh, Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. 
We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. But you're right next to each other. How is that possible? Um, what do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Oh. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay, that's... Alright. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Uh, what are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. <laughs> oh boy, tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Ah. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Okay, okay. So, um, do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Right. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so what's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Okay, okay. I have some free time. Ask away. Oh, um... This isn't grayed out. Um, I'd like to talk to you more about protecting Have you gotten Prim? us any additional support yet? Oh, um, not yet. And <laughs> who did you say I should talk to again? Knight. He's at Mojave Outpost. All right. Goodbye. Ma'am. Well, gosh, I don't know if I should, um... Hey. Well, gosh, I'm, I'm uh, you know, if the... I'm kind of feeling like if the NCR is spread too thin, then maybe I am better off going to the correctional facility here. I feel like I am because, um, um, if, if they're spread too thin, then I'm, well, I don't know, because then if they have a, a group of people out here, if I, if they have more help, I don't really know what to do. Hmm, maybe it would be better to just get someone from the correctional, or get the, help the guy that's in the correctional facility, all that. Everything is stealing. Hmm. Because at least this guy, if he's the sheriff, he'll be, you know, like they say, local, one of, someone in their group. And, ooh, I should put on the powder power oh gosh i have like no armor <laughs> i should probably put on yeah i should yeah i should put this on if i'm gonna go over there and then they'll um uh oh is something attacking me did i do this a little too soon should i have not done it next to oh yeah i don't think oops i don't think i should have put on a powder the powder grain uh, Power Ranger, fine, I'm just saying Power Ranger. I don't think I should have put on the Power Ranger outfit that close to town. Whoopsie. <laughs> Alright, am I getting close? I should have fast traveled to... Yeah, I should have just done that. That would have been a lot faster than me just wandering out here. I forgot fast travel's a thing. Whoopsie. How embarrassing. Alright, so... Guess it was nothing. <laughs> Oh, look, they're not going to be hostile Damn. toward me. Running low on smokes again. Because I'm dressed like them. I, well, I'm only shunned. I don't know if I'm... I guess I'm not, like, completely hostile. All right. Oh, it says I'm neutral, I guess. Because, yeah, I guess I should put this up, too. I don't need to... I look like a crazy person running around the Mojave Desert with a lead pipe. Hmm, I should, pr I should have probably cleared my inventory before coming out here. I thought, um... I thought this would be a kind of straightforward, easy quest, but when is it ever easy? Hmm. Oh, what's going on over here? Who are these people? I don't know if I should have this powder Power Ranger armor on. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I think I should. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. All right, yeah, here we go. These must be some of those convicts, then. You better save. All right, so I'm thinking, is the correctional facility going to be over this? Ah. Oh, this is just a big, proper place, isn't it? All right. So I need to go in here. Oh, Black Mountain radio signal found. Cool. NCR correctional facility. So I will I be able to just walk right in with um with this outfit on? I Okay. I know uh -oh. I wasn't serving time with no girl. Or I'd have heard about it. You come to play with the powder gangers? Uh-oh. Uh what it what is this place? This? This is or was the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Oh, shoot. See? I knew I didn't have the whole story. So, okay. You guys were being used as slave labor? What, what did you do... Or what did you do to end up in here? Yeah, well, um... Yeah, so what... Okay, well then what is your definition of a pow powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. Oh, okay. Um, so what did you do to end up in here? Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. Okay. Yeah, the hub must be like the major city. All right, well, if you're free, then why are you sticking around? We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Hmm. Okay, so who's in charge of the prison? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Yikes, can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Mm, no. Quit wasting my time. Oh, so even if I... Yeah, whatever. Dressed as a powder ganger... Oh, I, I can't even... Okay, I... Hmm. Is there a back entrance? Hmm... I'm not really sure if I want to get mixed in with these Power Ranger guys, to be perfectly honest. I I want to sympathize with them because, you know, being forced to work against your will, that's freaking terrible. And uh, But they're robbing people. It doesn't look like there's an alternate entrance. I was hoping on there being like a, like a hole in, in the wall or something here. I think I might have to go with the NCR because I don't know if I want to get tangled up in this to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm I'm having a change of heart. I think I'm going to go with the for my first choice and uh, start heading to the Mojave Outpost. I think that's a a better choice. <laughs> that was my first choice anyway, so I might as well stick with it. Alright, well, I think I need to go see um, Grandpa Nash and deal with my inventory already. Got a full inventory. And then next time, I guess I'm heading to the south, to the outpost, which um, th I need to start heading this way for the main quest anyway, so thank you works out. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching me play Fallout New Vegas. Really do appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you with another video soon. Bye for now.